Love is in the air. Not once did you ever give me a shot. You never asked for one. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 video games with the best romance options. It's none of my business, but if I had a daughter as smart and as pretty as you, I'd spend every spare minute I could letting her know how important she was to me. For this list, we're looking at the games that offer the most rewarding and investing romance options and subplots for players. We will not be including dating sims in this particular list, as the whole point of those revolves around pursuing your true love above all else. The ones on this list are more like awesome, lovey-dovey distractions. Also, be on the lookout for a few romantic spoilers here and there. You've been warned. My body opens, filled and blessed. My spirit there. Not merely housed in flesh. Number 10, The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever? Just because you're the Dragonborn doesn't mean you don't have time to get hitched. I almost envy you. That first time is always the most intense. Littered throughout this massive open world are select NPCs that you are able to woo, as long as you take a few predetermined steps they'll often have a miscellaneous quest for you to complete, after which they'll be far more willing to declare their affection for you, just so long as that you're wearing a necklace that tells all of Skyrim that you're looking for love. Kind of like an ancient Tinder. I think I'm just going to commune for a bit. This place is worthy of some time. All genders and races can be pursued, so if you think that humans are kind of boring, you can easily get engaged to an orc or even an Argonian. It is from her love of us that we first learn to love one another. Number 9, Dragon's Dogma. Happy! She's still alive! Sticking with the theme of dragon slaying, players find themselves here in the role of the Arisen, a mortal whose heart had literally been stolen by a dragon and must journey across the land slaying monsters of all kinds in order to get it back. While the organ itself may be missing, the capacity for love is definitely still there, evident in how practically all the NPCs in the game can be romanced, though it's highly recommended that players pursue characters like Selene, Kina, and Valmiro to be their beloved. Unlike Skyrim, the chosen romance plays an essential part in the game's climax, where the dragon kidnaps them, leading to a final showdown with the Arisen. Number 8, Harvest Moon series. In this charming little series, players who want to pursue the course of true love had better settle on Mr. or Mrs. Wright early on, since romancing them takes quite a while. You'll have to give them gifts and talk to them every day to increase their heart level, and complete any events that come up to further their affections, not to mention making some severe renovations to your house to accommodate life as a married couple. If you take all the right steps, you'll find yourself with a partner you can share an entire in-game life with. Those looking for the ultimate challenge may want to try romancing the Harvest Goddess, since to impress her, you need to complete practically everything. Number 7, Catherine. On top of that, Hatorinus' sweet seduction swoops down upon him. Mmm, what a playboy, huh? Fellas, do yourself a favor. Don't end up like Vincent Brooks. Still, if she's pregnant, your life is f with a capital F. Terrified of commitment and taking things to the next level with his girlfriend Catherine with a K, our unlucky protagonist finds himself unknowingly entering an affair with a sexual yet sinister succubus ironically named Catherine with a C. I'm gonna use the bathroom. <sighs> Players can choose the direction which Vincent's life takes as he fights for survival in puzzle-filled nightmares. There are multiple endings that can leave Vincent loveless, but if you play your cards right, you can win back the love of Kay Catherine and end up happily married. <clears throat> Sorry to keep you waiting, everyone. Now, here comes the bride. Or give up being human entirely and end up with a sea Catherine and a uh, <clears throat> succubus harem. Peace or chaos, the choice is up to you, but we know which one we'd pick. I can't believe a human man can be this incredible. It's so surprising, don't you think? Number 6, Stardew Valley. After inheriting a small plot of land from their deceased grandfather, players will have ample opportunity to interact with the local villagers, and with enough time and effort, you can work your way up to marriage. 
Each of the bachelors and bachelorettes are given a distinctive personality and traits that the player will have to discover if they want to increase their chances with them. Considering the heavy influence from the Harvest Moon series, expect to be working hard with gifts to pave the way towards true love, or at least a full love meter. Whether you got a thing for the King of Jerks Alex or Gadget Queen Maru, the romantic options only add to the serenity that you'll find in Stardew Valley. Number 5. Mass Effect Series What sets this epic space opera apart from other games on this list is that it allowed for the importing of saved files from previous entries in the series over to the next installments, including the romantic interactions you had with your crewmates. Who needs a vid when you've got me? As such, there's plenty of time given to exploring your significant other's character inside out, culminating in some of the most fleshed out and organic romances in all of gaming. I want you to see who I truly am. I already am. Whether you stick with the biotic bombshell that is Liara, the devilishly handsome and forever calibrating Garrus, or the beautifully shy Tally, you are guaranteed a relationship that could light up the galaxy. So, tell me, think a girl would fall for that? Oh hell yes. Number 4. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Geralt of Rivia's final outing certainly had no shortage of lovely ladies. You still have plenty of gals on the side who you can entice for a fleeting night of passion with, such as Kiera Metz, but the most compelling romances are by far Geralt's two old flames, Triss Marigold and Yennefer. <sighs> this is just a little awkward. Triss has stuck with the White Wolf ever since the first game, always looking out for him and even helping him recover his lost memories. I'm not going back to it. It's just, it's one thing to say something, it's another to actually do it. Yennefer was the Witcher's one true love before he suffered from amnesia, which gives players a very difficult decision in who to go for. Whatever you do though, just don't try and snag both of them. We promise it won't end up well for you. You just got exactly what you deserve. Number 3. Shin Megami Tensei Persona 4 You... you like... me? Ah, to be young and in love, though we guarantee that most high school romances don't normally involve a series of mysterious murders. As the main protagonist investigates the link between the killings and an alternate dimension known as the TV world, he can also engage in a romance with one of the female companions if their social link has been maxed out. Well, I'm happy doing anything if you're there with me. While you can warm up to characters outside of the investigation team, the best interactions come from the brewing romance with the martial arts obsessed Chie, sweet but spacey Yukiko, former pop idol Rize, or the cross-dressing beauty Naoko. Decisions, decisions. I felt that my life was on rails, and I thought running away was the only choice for me. Number 2. Dragon Age Inquisition Sorry to disturb your rest, Inquisitor, but our fortif- uh, Oh, sweet maker. Colin. How's it going? While this franchise doesn't really have the luxury of imported character romances like in Mass Effect, it is widely applauded for incorporating characters from various sexualities and doing them all justice. Nowhere is this better exemplified than when players assume the role of the Inquisitor. I didn't do this so you would be indebted to me, Dorian. I did it for you. Each romance has their own specific quest and dialogue options that not only further the relationship but really brings a new dimension to their character. Whether it's the fabulously flashy Dorian, the stern but gorgeous Cassandra, or the big hunk of awesomeness that is the Iron Bull, You'd have to be possessed by red lyrium to not try to court these fine ladies and gents. And uh, whatever the Iron Bull is. We are coming out of this alive. Together. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are a few very tender honorable mentions. For luck. Now, if you could prove yourself a better man than he, perhaps in a battle, things would certainly seem clearer. I am a Jedi, remember? I have far too much mental discipline to reveal what goes on inside my mind with such obvious physical clues. My thoughts remain hidden, including whatever my feelings are for you. Ever since we met, I have had a certain fondness for you. You are so eager. Okay. Number 1. Fire Emblem Awakening The game that not only gives you a huge roster of diverse and interesting characters to form relationships with, but also allows you to play matchmaker. 
Each pairing you form has their own unique interactions, which, if given time to develop, can progress into a full-on marriage and possible offspring that can become new party members near the later half of the game. As the Avatar, you'll find yourself either romancing or playing wingman to folks like the creepy yet cute Tharja, the charming Prince Krom, the demonically enchanting Aversa, or the foul-mouthed Sully. And as you may have noticed, I'm the fiercely loyal type. Honestly, with so many party members that you can make bonk, you could easily give them their own top 10 list. And no matter what the future holds, I'm going to cherish every moment. Do you agree with our list? Which video game do you think has the best romance options? Uh, right. <laughs> You'll be fine. With new top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. We've been through a lot, haven't we? But it's been a good ride. <laughs> the best.